can only show you the door. You have to walk through it. Hello guys, welcome to the Crypto Matrix market update. We're still in altcoin season. All coins are still outperforming Bitcoin. All coins are going parabolic. The altcoin season index is almost at an altcoin month. There's extreme green cryptocurrency market. Bitcoin, the king of the market, coin to trade above $96,000. Ethereum is still battling around $3,500. How high can the cryptocurrency market go in the coming days and the coming weeks? The bulls are getting liquidated, the bears are getting liquidated. What direction are we tending towards? We'll take a look at the altcoin market, we'll take a look at news stories going around the cryptocurrency market. We'll talk about that and more. But first, guys, an investment in knowledge pays the best interest. When it comes to investing, nothing will pay off more than educating yourself. Do the necessary research and analysis before making any investment decision. If you're new to this channel, you want to make more money trading or investing in cryptocurrencies, this is the channel for you. Don't forget to subscribe. You want to come a member? Link in the description. Let's get down to business. The last one month has seen huge huge pumps in the altcoin market. If you take a look at the altcoin season index, it tells us we are very close to an altcoin month. All coins are performing Bitcoin. All coins are having a nice time. We are even almost at an altcoin season. If you know what altcoin season is, guys. If 75% of the top 50 coins do better than Bitcoin over a 90-day period, that's all coin season. If they do better than Bitcoin over a one-month period, that's an altcoin month. We've seen the meme coin market have huge, huge gains. The meme coin market has enjoyed that pump to the upside. Dogecoin is up 232% over the last 60 days. We're seeing Shiba Inu, Pepe, Bong, Dog, We Had, Floki, Bread, Popcat all have huge gains. The last 60 days have seen WG gains in the meme coin market with the general meme coin market total market capitalization getting to as high as $120 billion. Right now, it sits at $116 billion. We're expecting more pumps in the cryptocurrency market, guys. Remember, the final phases of the rally is always the most aggressive. The final phases of the pump is when it is go parabolic. Bitcoin, I believe, has done its own parabolic ending. Bitcoin got to as high as $99,800. The coming and coming weeks, we're going to see all coins have that kind of parabolic ending. We're going to see outrageous pumps. Right now, we're already seeing a lot of all coins give us double digit gains on daily time frames. Some coins are going up 50 plus percent on daily time frame. I've even seen a coin go up 200 percent so i'll not be shocked to see a lot of these all coins continue that kind of trend to end it to end the year this extreme green in the cryptocurrency market history has shown us over time that extreme grid has been a good time to sell at the same time extreme grid is when things go parabolic so right now you're in the most dangerous part of the market this is what we have been waiting for for over the last two years extreme green in the cryptocurrency market bitcoin trading at the high price and the all coin market seeing wg gains that's the recipe for parabolic price action that's the recipe for all coin season which we're already seeing in the market bitcoin is still the king of the market bitcoin is up 45 percent over the last 60 days ethereum full closely ethereum trades up 32 33 percent over the last 30 days ethereum has currently outperformed bitcoin over the last 30 days and that's what signaled the start of all coin season solana is up 33 percent over the last 30 days bmb is up 8 percent xrp is up 200 percent dogecoin is up 202 percent cardano is up 190 percent and avalanche is up 61 percent so you can see in the top 10 we have more than seven coins that are outperforming bitcoin over the last 30 days that's officially what we call all season guys let's take a look at new stories going around the cryptocurrency market we expect those new stories to be positive we expect those new stories to tell you price will go higher and higher because at the top is when there's a lot of volume and when there's a lot of volume is where we, when you see crazy it's crazy behaviors ethereum l2 surpassed 51 billion dollars total value locks after 205 yearly growth ethereum made a big move over the last few days ethereum has rallied to as high as three thousand six hundred dollars leverage ethereum etf demands up 160 percent since drop wins ethereum price to 4k maybe just maybe ethereum will do that 4k dollars before the end of the year i'll not be shocked if we even get to as high as four thousand five hundred dollars Singularity Net partners with Mina for privacy focused decentralized AI. Celsius distribute additional $127 million from retigatory recovery accounts. Crypto fighters, crypto founders share debunking stories during Operation Choke Point 2.0. Remember, the last 12 months saw a lot of crypto founders get debunked because the Harris and the Biden, uh, Biden presidency were going after crypto. Right now, that's caused them the presidency. We are seeing Donald Trump whisper crypto in the White House. Metamax co-founder says meme coins reveal Web3 and AI consent flow. Crypto hackers steal $71 million in November, bringing yearly total to $1.48 billion. Be careful out there, guys. You don't want to lose your coins. You don't want to get hacked. Scroll refuse allegation of predatory airdrop. 
Patrio Series B funding reached 80 million dollars in Deutsche Bank investment, and Crypto.com sponsors golf tournaments with price of 10 million dollars in C and Crow tokens. There's extreme greed in the cryptocurrency market, guys. Remember, extreme greed is not here forever. Take advantage of it. The market is doing nice. Liquidation in the cryptocurrency market is increasing because a lot of people are using leverage. A lot of people feel smarter than the market. They believe they can outsmart the market in the last 24 hours. More than 79,000 traders have lost a total of $185 million. The largest liquidation order happened on Bybit. One trader lost $1.97 million, betting on the price of Bitcoin. You don't believe that? That's one of the smallest liquidations we have seen. Over the last few weeks in the cryptocurrency market, liquidations have been rising aggressively over the last one month. From the 2nd of November, we have seen that liquidation increase aggressively. A lot of bulls are getting liquidated. A lot of bears are getting liquidated. You want to avoid that, guys. You don't want to lose your chips before the party gets exciting. Ethereum, the king of all coins, the cryptocurrency market is still battling the $3,500 level. I will not be shocked to see it give us a blow off rally that will take it maybe to as high as $4,000, maybe even higher than $4,000. If we get to $4,100, that will be the highest we have seen Ethereum trade in 2024. If Ethereum is going to copy Bitcoin, setting new all-time highs, then we might have a rally that will see Ethereum get into as high as a $4,800 level. But for Ethereum to do that, guys, we'll have to see a big, big pump of around 34%. Knowing how volatile the market can be, if that 4% pump, can happen very very quickly we're waiting for bitcoin dominance to dump bitcoin dominance dumping has signified the start of all season but when the dump starts in ns i mean when the thing gets going like we have started the dump i believe bitcoin season or altcoin season has started since on the 21st of november 2024 but when this dump gets very quickly like when the dump gets going when momentum hits expect bitcoin dominance to get to as low as 55 percent maybe we can even see bitcoin dominance reach the 50 percent region and bitcoin dominance getting that low might send the altcoin market going parabolic total crypto market cap is at 3.26 trillion dollars that's a new all-time highs we've gone above where we were trading in 2021 even though against gold if you divide the total crypto market cap against gold we're not still at new all-time highs that's a worrying sign i always pay attention to that a lot of times we see the us dollar just are pumping our traders against gold we're not in new all-time highs for bitcoin against gold we're not in new all-time highs for the total crypto market cap so maybe just maybe this is just a bull trap maybe just maybe this is not a bull market maybe just maybe this is just exit liquidity remember take some profit off the table guys solana is at 240 dollars that's a new all-time highs it got to as high as 260 dollars the market cap has blasted above where it was in 2021 which means more tokens are coming to circulation market participants are waiting for higher prices Drop your thoughts in the comment section, guys. Tell me, how high do you see Solana going in the coming days and the coming weeks? How high do you see Ethereum going? I believe Ethereum can get to $4,000. Do you think it will get to new all-time highs? Do you think Solana will get to $300? And more importantly, are we seeing a $100,000 Bitcoin before the end of the year? Drop your thoughts about that in the comment section. Thank you guys for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more awesome videos like this. Turn on the post notifications. Get notified anytime I drop a new video anytime i go live remember guys when it comes to investing nothing will pay off more than educating yourself and investment in knowledge pays the best interest so invest for the long haul don't get too scared don't get too greedy see you guys in my next video remember all i'm offering is the truth nothing more Unfortunately, no one can be told what the Matrix is. You have to see it for yourself.